Mama yenche wan biblika examples. Na yeno ni yebefa ni pa miyinu. Yedi kaini ye Jezebel. Ena de tosu miyinu no eye Paul. Apostle Paul. Mm-hmm. Inti yebedi nkanfa Jezebel. Jezebel, the bossy, outspoken, strong-willed, unsympathetic, short-tempered, mover, bold, and intolerant, took advantage of her husband, her half's temperament, that is a phlegmatic, to rule in the name of her husband. Na me chire mu wa niyema mibe bu bossu yiso, na wati asye, yedi kainu. Kenahab was there when Elijah killed the prophet of Ba. But he couldn't do anything to Elijah. Rather, he went home and reported the issue to his wife, Jezebel. After hearing the news from her husband, her bossy and intolerant made her send message to Elijah, which made him afraid, resulting in his running away from her, Jezebel. And okay, in kind of 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 40 to 42, and 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 1 to 3, now, ube ewo ho, when Ahab narrated his deal with Nabot to his wife, she told him that she would get the land for him. After that, she wrote letters in her husband's name to the leaders of the town. That is 1 Kings chapter 21, verse 1 to 8. Now the question is, why didn't she allow her husband to write? Colerics always want to lead. Jezebel's actions towards Nabot's was well planned and purposeful. That is, cholerics being strong willed and movers plan and act. Mm-hmm. Her unsympathetic nature made her take the poor man's land for her husband. That is first Kings chapter twenty one, verse fifteen to sixteen. Cholerics are unsympathetic to others' dream or accomplishments. They are taught to be Jezebel was a strong, courageous, self-sufficient, and loyal woman who stood up for what she believes in, no matter the cost. Even the prophecies Elijah gave concerning her death didn't change her mind. That is 1 Kings chapter 21, verse 23. Cholerics are difficult to win for God, most especially in adulthood. And she eventually died in her sense. That is 2 Kings chapter 9, verse 33. One who made him can't So we need to cram for the end. So we better one of them one of them and such a bad Christian mono. Eh, na eh, din. Ana se bi a woye ni e bi na obe se san free mono. Eh, na eh, din kakra. Hmm. Eh, na eh, din ma won kakra na ni san e mono we enti mi an se san a din. Emma. Oh, on the bone. That's 2 Kings chapter 9. Verse 33. No. I think Jezebel should have been the chief army commander during Kenahab's reign instead of being a wife to him because the cholerics do well in military service. Because anytime you could see she's commanding, uh-huh, she's leading, or or she won't call you any other no offense to say. Obeti, obeti, se adi eno wa she so omo nye no. Omo beye ama, o di ufuwa ilaje mwa, eti mi jwani fili ne ni mwa na che se. Nye ye kanfa, kolerics no se, di a move, son sympathetic, wamre ye nu mwa no. Aha, sometimes wan ve ye ya, na mi debi ya me kano, wan ma wun kon kono, anfa wa, obeti mi, abe ye lida, ivi mpo, ewa aswari mo, but wan ve ya mre ye, ibeti mi, ahaw, ama, Nipa wako pe wana bonti nsenka wudu wana be muno. Bwe wansa afi emire ye na shase ye na e pamu pamu binum e fri mwone ade nyame oma e yi empare ye. Mwuma ye nshe second one na e kan honu. Apostle Paul. Paul was an all or nothing kind of man. He was never lukewarm. Nkolo wek sino omu nye nyachum. Ana se beka se bi a hypocrite. They be one idea. Obey, obey. One yen swa. One yen. Mm-hmm. His strong will and perseverance spirit made him not to focus on his opposers. That is the Jews who opposed him every step of the way, often throwing him in prison, forcing him up from town to town, throwing stones at him, and even speaking against his teachings. He persevered in his mission. That is Acts chapter 13, 
verse 44 to 47 until the end of his life. That is Acts chapter 20, verse 24, and 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 to 8. Cholerics are strong road with a powerful tendency towards self-determination. Cholerics also tend to look at goals towards which they are working without seeing the potential faults and obstacles in the path. Once they embark on a project, they make sure they accomplish the project, and that was Apostle Paul. Ebiomunso, Paul was bold and not ashamed for the gospel, as he said in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, which says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. He stood up for the truth in front of authorities, kings, Romans, Jews, and the other unbelievers. He did not compromise God's word. Cholerics are bold, no matter their size or positions. Paul was industrious. That is Acts chapter 18, verse 1 to 3. He was a worker for God and he deserved wages from the church. But in order not for him to be a burden on them, he willingly worked by making tents in order to support himself. Cholerics are hardworking and independent. Paul was a great leader. He gathered others, worked with them, trained them, and sent them out. He established churches, maintained contact with them through letters, sent messengers and workers to them, and visited them. That is Acts chapter 15, verse 35 to 36. He led by example and by service. Cholerics are naturally great leaders. Cholerics do not sympathize easily with others. Neither do they naturally show or express compassion unless touched by the Holy Spirit. Paul was a zealous persecutor of Christianity. He went from place to place dragging believers from their homes to prison. He witnessed and supported Stephen's stoning. That is in Acts chapter 7 verse 58. God miraculously intervened in his life to save him and transform him completely. God took the weakness of Paul and turned to work for good. He used his strength in leadership and strong will to lead many people to the gospel. Choleric's attitude of self-sufficiency and willfulness make them difficult to reach for Christ, especially in adulthood. Paul seems to struggle with pride at times and having a hot temper. Examples are one, on his second missionary journey, Barnabas wanted to take John Mark along, but Paul disagreed because of a previous mistake that John Mark has made. That is Acts chapter 15, verse 36 to 40. Paul insisted that John Mark not go with them. He knew that they were going again into difficult areas where only strong and matured men should go. And in the face of such danger, John Mark had previously manifested a lack of courage. Regardless of Paul's opinion, however, Barnabas saw something in John Mark that he believed would help or would develop into a mighty soldier. Yet Paul disagreed, and because of that, the two men, Paul and Barnabas, who were sent to work together, got separated. Acts chapter 13, verse 2, and Acts chapter 15, verse 35. And again, Acts chapter 15, verse 40 to 41. But later in Paul's ministry, he eventually realized that Barnabas was right. That is Colossians chapter 4, verse 10, and 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 11. Paul also grew angry. When the seventh girl, who was a fortune teller, and cast the spirit out of her, as chapter sixteen, verse eighteen, Ababa wana wishi a wana na as a oma on fans wa chelese wa mi enya mengro phonei a dewa na ni bufu ena otutu a homo ne no efrine so Paul wouldn't again leave the prison in peace when he was wrongfully jailed with Silas. He wanted an apology, as chapter sixteen, verse thirty seven to thirty nine. Paul was a learned man who knew scriptures well. He was a skillful writer. He wrote so many books in the New Testament. 
He was a debater, a public speaker, hard-working, confident, and above all, a courageous man. Kolewix exhibits these qualities, that is, the strengths and weaknesses. But, Ninin <laughs> Said ye be si ama wun konkona faye no mum na weti mi ada na yen na odia ye juma son ewo ewe ye brem nyami wamwa yen said ye be ya ye mere ye en sha yan so na en se nyami ye juma anase ye mere ye en sha yan so na emma ye we ye en ye basa ye di besi ha nyami ya duma ye di the next temperament aye ye melancholy non so ebeba nyami shra ye nyina amen.